So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so first of all click on start lab now open the cloud console incognito window now here if it asks for username and password check the lab for it now click on i understand after that you have to just activate the cloud shell Click on continue and just authorize yourself. After that, come back to the lab instructions and from here, we have to provision the APG. So for that, right click over here, a new page will open here. Now this lab is little bit lengthy so follow the each and every step so that you don't miss. Now for the project ID go back to the lab instruction and check the project ID like this and paste over here. Now you can see we have to click on start evaluation evaluation and after that we have to configure the APIs. while come back here and create a vpc net so just type vpc like this and select the first one from here copy the name from here like this click on create just paste the name here and for the region make sure to check the region from the lab instructions and also we have to add a subnet so first let's add the subnet and then we have to add the ip 4 range now turn it on all things have been done now just click on done and create now you can see it's being created it will take some time so just wait for it until it gets created now come back to the apg now here select the vpc and click on connect now what you need to do here we have to do one step that is click on the automatic allocate now this will take some time so just wait for it Mostly it will take 2 to 3 minutes, so wait for it. What you need to do here, please pay attention to this step. This step is little bit lengthy, so what you need to do, once all things have been done, come back here, click on this APG under the VPC network and just from here, you have to copy this internal IP range. If you are unable to see, just replay the video and copy it from here. And just you can see here. Let's hit the check my progress for previous task. Now, once it's done, copy it. And what you need to do, you have to just edit this and the region for the runtime and the Runtime location and the RATX hosting region will be same as per lab instruction. Do check this one. Both regions will be same as per lab instruction. Now this will take up to 45 minutes. You can see it is mentioned on here also. Provisioning your organization can take up to 45 to 50 minutes. So just wait for it. You need to wait for that time only. And for that make sure the laptop does not go on sleep and just follow the way i am doing
so finally after 47 minutes now this part has been done now what we have to do we have to set the routing so how we have to set let's wait and if you haven't subscribed the channel till now do subscribe it and like the video now the main step is that you need to understand that your laptop does not go on sleep and now let's move to our next part that is the access routing so let's move ahead what you need to do you need to come back to the cloud shell if you get this kind of error just reconnect it and in case you haven't activated the cloud shell just activate it and let's wait so now here what you need to do come back to the lab instructions first of all echo the project id now set the project id basically copy from here till equal to you can use your personal notepad and just paste the project id like this just paste it completely so what you need to do you have to run this so how you have to paste the project id you have to just export it and after that just the equal to you have to paste it so now these parts have been done now what you need to do once this is saying ready to use you have to do one thing so what thing you have to do let me show you come back here click on edit now here you have to click on no internet access or enable so here you have to click on enable internet access so now once you have clicked on the enable internet access what you need to do here let me tell you so from here you have to just select the sub network now click on set access so if you are unable to find the sub network make sure you have created the vpc network in the first step which you have done now it will take some time just wait for it now this task will also take four to five minutes sometimes even less so just wait for it now what you have to do go back to the lab instruction and check the score for this particular task so let's come back to the lab instruction and don't click on continue now now we have got the score just check the score for the remaining task so we've got for the this task also now what you need to do copy this and paste on your cloud shell after that we have to create a virtual machine for that paste again and it will take some time if you get any error just redone this command again now here this part has been done now what we have to do just follow along with me here you have to just add a firewall so just copy it and just paste over here now the next step is that once you have created this firewall you have to just initiate the SSH session type Y and then hit enter twice hit enter and if you get error on SSH what you need to do you have to run that part again okay So finally it's live now we have to test our organization so just hit enter now it's done now run the curl command now what you need to do you have to come back to the ipg environment and click on continue and just click on launch from here you can see two buttons we have to just click on the launch button and that's the way we have to complete this lab so when you click on the launch button you may face some error what kind of error you will face i will show you no need to worry about it so you may face issue like site not reach no need to worry about it if you hit check my progress will definitely get the score 
you just try to hit the score and that's the way we have completed this lab for other skill badges and labs check the description thank you have a great day